are you? My name's Kunal. Yes. I have cerebral palsy. Okay. So I have this cane. Has that hindered you with uh, your ability to meet people? 100%. What? Wait, you made out with that girl 1,500 times. So you're just making out with her all night. Wait, what? You weren't counting how many times you kissed her, did you? I, I don't even know the numbers, man. That's why I made that. make out with girl? Yo, yo, it's Justin Mark. Um, I am in the middle of the Toronto Immersion Boot Camp with some students. All right, we got a couple students here. Yo, yo, Christian in the building. What's up, man? How are you guys feeling for this uh, this week? I had... Uh, it's excited. Have you ever done any day game before? No. You ever talk to hot girls out and about by yourself? I'd always avert my, my, my like, pathway oh, away from that. Interesting. Go do it, go do it, go do it. It's oh, oh, boom, he's doing it. Boom, boom, he's in there. All right, cool. All right, so uh, Christian, have you done a lot of uh, pickup before? I have, but I'm here to be on God tier level. Nice, so you want to level up your soul skills? Absolutely. Awesome, what are your goals? My goals is to make 100K income strictly online, so allow me to have the freedom to work from anywhere. Awesome. And pick up more hot white blonde girls because in my goal. opinion that's like the hardest all right so what are your goals um to uh face my fears more like cool. i know fear is you can't get rid of it sure might as well just go ahead and face it just just go for it boom love it um and uh just be comfortable around successful people and beautiful people men awesome. or women sick and uh yeah just talk you know exchange value and um, see where it goes from there. Just, cool. just when you're a cool social dude and you're running around being social to everybody, it's actually better than only talking to hot girls, right? Let me explain why. So the thing is, if you're only talking to hot girls, to a certain degree, you're kind of like objectifying women. But what you're actually doing is you're putting the women on a pedestal instead of just being like, I'm a cool social guy, I'm social with everybody. And if you look at it, it was just naturally social with everybody, right? Look at it, it was naturally social with everybody. They're also very charismatic, and they're also good with women, right? But now look at the guy who's only just running around trying to talk to girls. He's actually not that good with girls. Those kind of guys are actually not that good with girls, and that's why they need to only talk to girls in order to get a girl, right? So the whole point, it's like it actually becomes easier when you build social momentum talking to everybody. You're getting Starbucks, you're talking to the fucking barista, you're like, hey, how's your day going? You're talking to some girl online, right? You come out, you like more approaches, so some girl, you like your glasses. Uh, you start building momentum. Because when we got out here today, I had a pro anxiety. I've been doing this for fucking 10 years, right? I've literally had sex with hundreds of women, okay? And I, from day game too, tons of girls from day game. And I still get nervous when I do it, right? You can observe that nervousness and that anxiety, accept it, but do it anyway. And that's how you're gonna get the results you wanna get. Basically, your heart radiates a magnetic field eight feet in diameter that is detectable by machines. So whatever state you're in, individuals will pick it up due to the mirror neurons. So I run these amazing coaching programs called boot camps, where I help guys with social anxiety overcome the mental objections they have and the story they've told themselves that stops them from being the guy they want to be socially and emotionally in society. So over the last decade, I designed this very intricate curriculum and I have worked with thousands of guys in person to essentially perfect this protocol, this system, I guess you'd say, where you're able to just go from being a socially anxiety-ridden individual to being this charismatic, powerful, self-starting, positive beacon of light in this world. And I love working with guys who come from all walks of life because you get to experience what it's like to overcome this journey over and over and over. This is a personal journey I've had to overcome, going from crippling depression, working shitty jobs I fucking hated, and having horrible anxiety, to being very successful, having money, traveling around the world, having beautiful girlfriends, dating beautiful people, and having an amazing life full of amazing friends. 
living in a gorgeous penthouse, right? And one thing I love about coaching is it allows me to retake that hero's journey over and over and over. I get to work with guys with all kinds of issues. All right, so who are you? My name's Kunal. with Justin Martin. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Most recently, I had a student, a prospective client who reached out to me with a disability. Now, this wasn't just any disability. He has a neurological condition that limits his motor skills called cerebral palsy. Uh, my name is Kunal. I have cerebral palsy. It is a neurological disability that you get if you're premature, so I was premature. I came across uh, yeah, Justin's a YouTube channel, and then Justin's Instagram, and I had uh, thought, that, you know what, let me get in contact with him and see you know, where we can go, because I wanted to get uh, get to know him and also get to, get to learn things from him. But this individual was so passionate, so success-driven, he had already overcome so much in his life through having this health issue that I just felt this instinctual need to take him on and work with him. Uh, so what are we doing today? Today we are doing uh, day game. All right. Huh. Have you ever done day game before? Never. Uh, can I ask a question? Sure. Why do you have a cane? I have a cane because it's cool. Okay. And uh, I, I roll with it. And Sick. I, I have cerebral palsy. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Has that hindered you with uh, your ability to meet people? 100%. Do you think it's like a physical hindrance or is it like a mental thing? Uh, 110% a, a mental thing. Okay. And are you learning how to overcome the psychological effects of cerebral palsy <coughs> from day games? Um, already, I would say 70% there. So we start coaching him with pickup. We start teaching him soul skills. I even brought in uh, my assistant coach from Australia and one of my interns to make sure that this student has the extra support he needs throughout the boot camp because he has trouble walking, right? And it blew me away seeing what a man is capable of when he really pushes himself, when he really puts his best foot forward. What, what just happened? I just did a cold uh, cold approach with this wonderful, wonderful girl. We, we just uh, exchanged our Instagram. The best way to describe a lot of what we do here on this program, do day game, it's kind of like exposure therapy to social anxiety, right? This is what I truly believe to be like the one cure of overcoming social anxiety, where it's like, imagine this, right? You're, you feel like you fork now because you're getting results, but before you're feeling nervous. The same way, you're, you're gonna want a roller coaster. You can see a roller coaster, you're like walking up to it, you're like, whoa, it's really big, holy crap. You know it's gonna be scary because everyone's screaming. Everyone's like, oh my God, you're, thinking that you're on the roller coaster, you're going up, you're about to go, like, holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit. Ah, and like, you're still doing it, and you're like, whoa, this isn't so scary. Once you're doing it, it's not that scary. But you gotta take a jump, you gotta move into it, you gotta take action. And what's on the end of it is like, oh, it was scary, but it was fun, right? So, um, I have cerebral palsy. Okay. So I have this cane. Okay. And, um, but you know what? I, I, what I also have is never give up mentality and, uh, I've also, uh, I've been, uh, I came across approach anxiety, uh, like that last year. So now I, I'm here with the one and only Justin Mark. So would you say the cerebral policy caused you to have approach anxiety? Yes. And so you're trying to get over it doing day games. Yes, I am. The next morning. And it's, it's just awesome. Um, the club last night was coached as many women as, as possible. Justin like really tried to push me a lot, but it was, it was amazing. Like I put in full effort, like I did it. Actually, I ended up getting a few numbers and overall my day went really good. And yeah, also like just coming from Connecticut, the year is like fucking amazing. I want you guys to come back, come back to reality. All right, everyone get in the fucking car. Guys, we just did uh, two days of boot camp so far. Last night, picked the club, seems we're crushing it. It was actually a beautiful scene. And then um, we just did a trauma release meditation with the students, and they loved it. It was pretty good. A little bit emotional, and uh, now we're jumping in the Uber to go to the mall. What was crazy was this student was able to just have such incredible results and such incredible transformation within just eight 
days, 100 hours of immersion coaching. On the first day, the student looked me in the eyes. He told me he had lifelong depression and he was here to overcome these issues and change his life. And I looked him deep in the eyes and I told him, I am going to change your life. I'm going to help you. Alongside with my team and the other students here, we're going to change your life. Let's go. Are you free, bro? Are you free? I'm getting the students to do unstifling techniques to get themselves out of their comfort zone. For me, like the main results was uh, coming across the fact that I self-sabotage, um, self-judgment. This is more important that I've gained from this, uh, from the boot camp is stop caring what other people think. Because we're, we, we, we actually uh, cage ourselves down and like tie, tie that rope to ourselves like, oh, what is this person gonna think? What are we gonna, what's gonna happen here? Oh, if I do this, so-and-so is gonna say this, you know? And then that, all that, comes together into like a very dark place. When everybody looks at Justin's uh, YouTube channel or you know the whole program in general, you think, oh, it's about picking up girls, doing this, or partying and fun, but it's not all that. Yes, you see that, but underneath all that, it's about self-growth, uh, building a social circle, getting to know uh, your own potential that you haven't even discovered. a big promise even as a coach even as someone who's been doing this for a decade having someone there who's going through years of depression years of anxiety years of mental blockages and on top of that having a disability a health issue that's stopping him mentally from getting the results he wants to have with meeting people with dating women with being social i really didn't know what to expect but i knew that if he just follows everything I teach him, his life is going to change. And change it did. All right, guys, so I'm in the middle of boot camp. Two of my students are on a double instant date on boot camp, right? And my student, the one with cerebral palsy, is on an instant date right inside there. Two, three years from now, I truly believe I will be in a position of more financial stability for myself. Um, and also having a a larger social circle where and which I've I already believe I've already started to build within the 10 days of this program I always wanted to travel I've, I haven't traveled much but with this program and the belief system that that I've created for myself I think I'll be able to go all over the world I, I truly believe what I paid for this boot camp was it wasn't actually pretty that it wasn't that much but when you, and when you put it into what I've learned and everything that I've gained from the boot camp, it it was pennies to the dollar. That's what I believe. So don't get hesitated about how much you know you're going to be paying for the boot camp or anything of that sort. And uh, I would just say, come in and take the leap of faith. Day three. Now with both of your hands, I want you to double the speed, the same direction, spinning. Double the amplitude. Double the magnitude. Keep doubling it over and over and over again. Six hours later. All right, guys. This boot camp has been so good so far. The students are actually crushing it. They're dominating it. Today, they're doing a 100 approach challenge where they run around the city doing 100 approaches of hot girls, talking hot girls, and uh, they're actually dominating it. Let's get that.
party started. Steve, what's up? Thanks, buddy, eh? Hey? Bob here? Because you're in here? This way. Hi, say hi to my mom. Hi, mom. Say hi to your mom. Hi, mom. I might as well. Hi. Yo, yo, bro, how many girls do you make out tonight? Three. It's pretty good. But like 1,500 kisses already. What? Wait, you made out with a girl 1,500 times? Yes. So you're just making out with her all night? Wait, what? You weren't counting how many times you kissed her, did you? I, I don't even know the numbers, that's why I made that. make out with a girl? Okay. They fall. Can we all just compare our outfits from the beginning of boot camp to now? Look at you guys. You guys look like fine established gentlemen. So, Kunal, you pulled a girl home last night? Yes, I did. How is it? Is it good? Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. I'm back in my bag, yo. Back in my bag. Yeah. Conscious. Yeah. ISO. Yeah. Down Back in my bag and I ain't gotta brag, I do this shit for real When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a Ferris wheel Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel You know I had to bring it to the hood Like she carrying silver when she keep on turning head Cause when she woke that thing jiggle, jiggle And we going back to back on them like we Huey and we Riley This that back in my back flow, we back again so highly This that back in my back flow we back to change the climate This that back in my back flow We bring the force like Tommy Back in my Back in my back flow Back in my Yeah, yeah Back in my bag, yeah I'm back in my Yeah, yeah I'm back in my bag, yeah I'm back in my This is my Back in my bag flow uh. Guys, it's Thomas' birthday Happy birthday, Thomas Congrats on the new house, bro The little house party Later that same evening. I hope that makes sense to you guys though. So everything you've done at this point, everything you've learned at this point, Right? This is the foundation. All the soul skills, your ability to meet people. He started going out, meeting people, meeting beautiful women, becoming more social, becoming more charismatic, changing his fashion, changing the way he feels inside. And what was crazy is on one of the nights at the club, he just had girl after girl after girl giving him all the attention. He had a girl approach him, sit down and start making out with him. He even ended up taking this beautiful woman home back for a fun after party. And what was crazy to me was the shift, the demeanor change, and who he became by the end of the boot camp. By the end of the boot camp, this man was a whole different person, beaming with energy, confident, positive, go getter, offering all kinds of value in ways we never even thought he would and he's just such a lovable guy and he fits so well into my circle saying every single like you were mad at it were you not magnetic last night every single girl you talked to was just on you yes or no oh no no i was just like like radiating positive energy like just you're just radiating positive energy up. right and then you're, people and then the girls were just like like girls are approaching you them. almost right yeah, or they're giving yeah. you indicators of interest for you to approach them right so the whole point here is when you open up your communication, girls start approaching you, right? So like, did you guys, did anyone notice that? That yeah. once your communication is open, girls no, start approaching it, it you? it makes you attractive as fuck. Like, right? when you radiate positive energy and then girls just start looking at you and want to communicate with you. Yeah. 
It's crazy. Isn't that yeah. so crazy? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Does that blow your fucking mind? Yeah. That as long as you follow this process, the 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 fundamentals of what was been wired in your brain, the the emotions that you now lo- learn how to feel and share with others, right? The self love and self esteem, the communication skills, right? Your ability to like maneuver and and like socially network your way into the right environments. I would de- definitely. Um with the, my whole heart recommend this program to people that are right now uh, dealing with social anxiety dealing with depression stress and any trauma that they have uh, built up over the years and I'm, I kid you not when you come to this boot camp from day one you are gonna feel like 10 times lighter day by day and then by the end of the pro by end of the boot camp your your trauma is gonna be gone now you're this cool guy you dress well you look like a boss you carry yourself with a high degree of status you now can crush business like it's nothing imagine how easy it is for you to make sales going forward in your sales career how easy like it's like half the effort not even you don't have to think about it does it make sense let's give you an example over the last two weeks i closed zero deals this week was three so what? Yeah. So over the last two weeks before this boot camp started, you closed zero deals, and this week on boot camp you closed three deals. That is well, fucking dude. That is amazing. That while while he's while in the coaching partying. program, yeah. so he go up to the club, pull hot girls, go crazy, go home, wake up the next day for nine a.m. for work, and cl- close three deals. <laughs> Bro, that is amazing. That is amazing. You got Kunal pulling the hottest girls, dude. That is blows my mind. Right? You have you met, like magnetizing people towards you. That is amazing. Right? Overcoming your anxiety. Did you feel like your anxiety was a lot less than it usually is? Value, but then I always thought that I was being taken advantage of. Okay. Like what I, I'm a kind of guy I like to give and give and give and I was like, yeah, but then this guy is still negatively judging me or whoever it is, family, whoever it could be. So what you're saying is before the boot camp you were insecure with yourself. And now you feel like you don't feel insecure with yourself. I, I don't uh, I won't say it's uh, there hundred percent yet. I still have to work on myself internally, but it is it is to the point where I can say, yeah, I can I can and like I can identify it. Before I was not able to identify what was it what was it that was holding me back. Now I'm able to look inside me and say, yeah, this thing is holding me back. This is holding me back. This is holding me back. Now I can count it down and then co- put it all together and and say, okay, you know what? Now let's cut this out and clean it up yeah. and let's go. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. So, do you feel a lot more confident? Yes. Yes. I, I I feel like I am that guy again that I was when I was 19 years old, who had left his house to go to college, and and I was like, at 19, I was like, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna I'm gonna take over the world. I didn't do that, but I did go out and I got my independence and and I'm able to walk with a cane and everything. That's great. But and then I came back home. The city, everything kind of pushed me down. And now I'm here. And I'm working on myself again. And now you feel like you can take over the world again. Yes. Now I, dude. Now, now I honestly feel like I can take over the world. Again. Little goodbye dinner with the students. Let's fucking yes, go. Yes, yes. Last day at boot camp. Goodbye yes. dinner. Looks delicious. Got some salmon and yoki. What's up, Nate? Good, bro. What are you eating, bro? So uh, I would definitely want to share with everybody here that coming to this program has uh, not only uh, helped me into understanding what my potential is, but also coming to the point and saying, you know what, I can I can do anything in the world. Like, honestly, I always used to think, can I do this? I'm not gonna be able to do this. You know, I have a disability, I have this, I have that. But with this boot camp, I've not only been able to go to do things that, I literally thought that I probably won't be able to walk down downtown, and it's gonna be really hard and also, you know, building a social circle, like I, going and approaching and making new friends and people are gonna think, oh, this guy has a disability, you know, he walks different. That's the number one thing that always used to come into my head. But now, after being in this boot camp, I'm not scared of, of putting myself out there and, and just being happy. Like literally, I'm in a state of happiness and calm and peace, most important for me. And I, I really thank this bootcamp, the whole process, and everything that we've, we've been through. And I definitely recommend everybody that is in self-doubt right now and saying that all my doors are closed and I can't do anything, definitely come and join the bootcamp.
Really what it shows me is that any guy can live this journey. Any guy can become this guy. And if there's one thing we got to end this video with, it's that your life can change. Despite what problems you have, what issues you think you might have in your life, you can actually overcome these issues physically and mentally, socially and emotionally. And you can go from having social anxiety to being social. You can go from having mental blockages to becoming a go-getter. You can go from broke to rich. You know, I didn't even need to take on the student. I live a very lavish lifestyle. I live a very good lifestyle where I don't really need to do this for money anymore. I just choose to do it because I fucking love it. My investment portfolio takes care of me. But at this point, I just realized there's so many guys out there who need my help and need to do this. If you're a guy out there who's struggling, and if you're a guy out there who really wants to change your life and you truly believe you have what it takes, you truly believe you can change, then I urge you to call me. Apply for one of our mentoring programs. Call me. Go to justinmark.com. Schedule a call with me. I will personally call you. We will see if you fit what we're looking for in a student. We will see if you have what it takes to change your life. And if we bring you into one of these boot camp programs, your life will change forever. The world as you know it will fundamentally change for the rest of your life. You'll be able to become that confident man, become charismatic, be beautiful women forever, and really become that man you've always wanted to be. Everything will change. You'll live this life and it will be beautiful. Go to justinmark.com, schedule a call with me, and I will call you. If you have any questions, you go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Message me and be sure to message you back. Go ahead and message me on Instagram. Follow my Instagram. Watch my stories. Be part of my Instagram community. And thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys very soon.